Okay guys, as uh, promised, I'm gonna, like I said, I was gonna try and do a, uh, a new video every day. Um, just to show off some some kicks I got. Uh, I did a uh, detailed view review on this one <clears throat> uh, when I first got it. But I'm gonna show a little bit better of a detailed review, plus on feet. And then I'm gonna show you something else as well too, so. Um, this is, of course is KD Box. And if you look at it, it will say it's the black bolt, vivid blue, dark gray. And these are, of course, people who know what this is, is the, what the KD. And I'm glad I got a pair of these, because these shoes are really dope. I don't know exactly what all, um, it's, uh, what all sh the shoes that, that they took the designs from. I can see kind of probably the Ant Pearl. Um, looks like some stars in the, uh, the D symbol. I don't know which one that's from. Inside has some symbols in here. Um, if you can see it. Um, if anybody can tell me what that is, please comment. Um, so that I know exactly what they got that from. But, um... Here's the tongue, right here. This uh, right shoe has the uh, blue laces. Looks like the front comes from the uh, Liger. And here's the inside of the shoe. The left shoe comes with the blue um, air unit and bubble. It's got some splashes, so here's a more um, Detailed look at it. Okay, there's the shoe. So this is one shoe. And here is the other shoe. So, looks like the right shoe comes with a tangerine orange looking uh, air unit, and green bottom. Doesn't look like uh, the symbol on the bottom is reflective, kind of holographic like normal KD. Uh, it's got that purple swoosh. Um, not sure where the design is, where the front is from. Here's the inside of the shoe. It's got some yellow, orange laces. laces. looks like and on the inside it's got this uh, kind of quilted flannel looking um, padding so I'm not sure which shoe they made that might have come from but uh, if you know then give me a give me a comment and tell me which which ones uh, what exactly they took it from so this is what the uh, detailed look of the shoe looks like So that's what they both look like up close. Side. Back. Side. And front. And if you give me a second here, I'll show you what they look like on feet. Alright? Okay, so here's a detailed look at the uh, shoe. On feet. I uh, hope you can see it. This is what it looks like. This is a really dope shoe. I really like the KD6 a lot. <clears throat> and I'm bought any of the KD7s yet. So here's the back. You can see it. There's a side view. Of like any issues. And I'll pick it up. And I'll show you more details.
to look at the sides. Side view of it. Side view it looks like kind of like it looks kind of like it has some 3M on it. But I'm not exactly certain, but it's because of my flash. So that's what the uh, arm feet looks like. And then, uh, like I said, I have another shoe that I'm gonna show as a bonus to this shoe. So. I'll get to that in a moment here. Okay, so I told you I'd show you a bonus shoe. So, um, here's the uh, KD Liger. Um, interesting story on this shoe. I actually didn't get this shoe when it came out. Um, I waited in line at the uh, Foot Locker to uh, get the, uh, I think it was some Kobe 9s. And um, I was trying to get the the silver tiger looking foam posits that were coming out at the time and um, these had came out also but I didn't realize how limited these were so I was trying to get all three shoes but the Foot Locker at the store was first come first serve and they wouldn't allow me to get all three shoes they would only let me buy the Kobe and the um, foam posits so I didn't get this shoe so what happened was my wife went to Champs and um, she went over there. They had our sizes. And um, the guy at Champs uh, let her in to actually purchase the shoe. But when um, she got to the cash register, the guy at Champs actually took our shoes from us and sold it to one of his friends. So we complained to Champs. Um, Champs general manager or district manager. Um, contacted us and uh, we told them what had happened and uh, they what they did was they immediately found both our sizes in the shoe and um, shipped it to another store and uh, so we paid for it and uh, we were able to get the pair these got sold out immediately um, I don't think they ever restocked them or maybe they did for a little bit but, you know, these were difficult, very difficult to find. And uh, this was actually my first pair of KDs. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. But they've become one of my favorite shoes. They're, they're really comfortable um, to walk around in. You can tell that I've worn these a lot because you can see his signature is almost gone on the inside. But here's what the shoe looks like. And, of course, it's really dirty on the bottom. But you can tell it has a holographic bottom. KD logo symbol. Here's the side of it. And here's the other side of this one. And I wear these a lot because there's because they're really comfortable. And um, they don't crease because it's got this, uh, you know, it's got that plasticky material to it. I don't know what, what exactly it is, but you know. It's, it doesn't really crease, so there's what the inside. And like I said, the uh, his um, his uh, signature is completely gone because I wear these so much. But um, I think these were really dope. Um, I really like these a lot, and uh, you know, shout out to Chance for taking care of us because um, you know it was really wrong what they did um, at the store because you know. We, we actually waited in line, they told us that they had our size, and then when we got to the front to pay for them, they actually took our shoe away from us, so, um, you know, uh, a big shout out to Chance for taking care of us. But, um, here's the shoe, like I said, of course, they're dirty because I wear these a lot, but I'm about to show you an on-feet look of the, uh, KD6 Liger, and then I'll finish up the video. So, here's a, here's a look on-feet. Okay, so here's a quick look at the uh, KD6 Liger on feet. Um, here's the uh, sides. Sides. Here's the back. Pull the shield a little bit so you can see the side on the inside. So, hopefully, you can see the whole shoe. 
like I said, I wear these shoes a lot. They're really comfortable. Here's the back. For the shoe. Here's slides. Close up. Close up. Close up above shoes. And looks like they have creased a little bit, but it's not something major. Um, these shoes, like I said, um, are really comfortable. I'm kind of sad that they actually changed the uh, model now because um, I'm not too crazy about the strap on the new KD7, but I guess it'll be something to get used to. And hopefully they'll be more comfortable, but, um, you know, it's a, uh, it looks like it's a pretty cool shoe at first, for right now. Um, you know, it's, uh, just probably something you get used to. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, tell me what you think of the shoes. Um, tell me what you, uh, what all the, uh, different, um, parts they took from, from, from what the KDs. And, uh, hit that thumbs up button if you liked the video. Alright. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.